party. So now it's all about the NBA as Wayne heads to the All-Star Weekend in Indianapolis. Wayne's Lakers, if you yes. haven't noticed, have won six of seven, three in a row, won a couple of recent road games without LeBron and AD at Boston, without LeBron the other night at Utah. Wayne, good morning to you, sir. Are you starting morning, to see yeah. a team, starting to see a team that could win the West, maybe even win it all? Uh of course I am, especially when you look at the West, when you look at the teams that's strong in the West right yeah. now, you look at the Timberwolves, you look at OKC, yeah. those are the teams that ain't they ain't never been there for real, so no. if they come up against that monster, they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. I would agree. Mm -hmm. So have you liked the way the quote-unquote others have played, especially when there's no AD LeBron or no LeBron? First of all, I don't do the others. I don't do that. I don't do that. I love the way the team has played without with and without with and without LeBron. But without LeBron, it shows you that you know he could take a date, he could take a game, a game or two off, and we still gonna do what we do. Yeah, they headed they headed in the but right direction. No, yeah. that's AD though. AD didn't play in like fifty something of fifty something games. So that right there is awesome. I gotta credit that. You got to credit that. Yeah, when you play 50 plus games, they six or seven in the last seven games. It's the consistency seems like it's trying to come there. Now, now after the All Star break, right? You go to Golden State, then you got the Spurs at home. You go to the Suns. You stay at home for the Clippers, and then obviously the Wizards. If they could, if they can get three of them next five, then we definitely head in the right that. direction. And the three of the five, I want you to get though. Is I gotta have you get the Suns, the Clippers, and the Warriors. I gotta have you get them though. Yes. I just got yes. I gotta yes. have you beat them three teams. Yes. I love how you didn't say the Spurs because that don't matter. We need to beat the teams that to the, that matters to, yes. the, to, to the world of best. I mean, yes, I love it. Mm. Hey, Louis, Louis, why can't the rest of the guys like they play a certain way? Like we, like Skip just talked about with you, when when, when the guys aren't on the floor, it just seems like they're a little more aggressive. Uh, why, why can't they take that style? Why can't they implement playing like that with LeBron and all those guys on the floor? That's simple. I mean, it's LeBron. <laughs> it's the LeBron effect. Yeah. You know, it's the LeBron effect. They go. It's sometimes they kind of go as he go, and think. And we think we think our lucky stars that he always go hard. Yeah. So, Wayne, you did on this show going back, it's been a couple of months ago, you called out Anthony Davis, and I believe he heard it, and I believe he has responded to it. It's to the point that Somebody you might be the that. unsung that MVP night. of this. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Somebody told me that last night. Somebody texted me that right after the game. It was like, man, listen. I don't know if it was like I don't know if AD heard you, but man, he's been playing different ever since then. I was like, he has. Well, no, seriously. I don't know if it, I don't know if it matters, but he balling though, man. He balling. All, all it shows is that all he got to do is be on the court. It shows that it's just his health. If, if he's on the court, he's gonna dominate. You know, I think I think for him, I think he just got tired. Feels like he's got tired of not only you, Lil Wayne, but just people <sighs> in general. Agree. Just in general. <laughs> yeah. You know, think about it. Everybody looking at him, and, and you know, as soon as he grabs his knee or ties his shoe and bends over, the first thing people go is, oh, my God, not again. I think he yeah. got tired of that. And also, I think LeBron finally said to him, say, man, I'm trying to you put you in the position. You got to take it over. You got to exactly. just do. Pass you got, you have to. Just go. Don't worry about it all. Just go. Just do your thing. And I think for the most part, he's been doing it. Yeah, I agree. So, Wayne, we look at a Rui Hachimura. The other well, night, went off. he just took the game over. Went crazy. He, he's oh. got an NBA body and, I think, an NBA game. I think he's been a little underconfident, and sometimes it's harder to play with LeBron because you're not sure, should I shoot, should I not, should I stay, or should I yeah. go? Yeah. You know, but the other night, he showed you what I saw a lot of against Denver in the Western Conference Finals because he was really good in that series. He is a very yes. valuable piece to your puzzle, and I think you agree. I agree. Rui Benadog, though. Rui Benadog, he got that size, like you said. Also, I, I, was, I was proud of Rui since the, I think, what, what it was, the Olympics or something like that, when he came out with the torch and all that. Like, I, I, and when he I did. found out we had him, I knew he was going to be a beast in the league regardless.
Yeah. And, and when we hadn't heard from you on what we talked about yesterday about the Lakers saying they'll go get Bronny. Hmm. So LeBron can stay right where he <laughs> is, man. What, what was your thoughts on that since we didn't get a chance to hear you talk about it yesterday, buddy? I thought it was pretty interesting, actually. I thought it was pretty interesting. But when I found out that the Lakers say they are, they they, they would be interested in looking into looking into that, then first thing I said was be ready to see Brian in the Lakers uniform. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's, it makes all the sense in the world. I tried to tell Richard that yeah. all week long to get him to understand when you're dealing with the management group and Rich Paul and all the client base and Maverick Carter and LeBron James, and when you're dealing in that circle, you got to play. It's a clutch move. It's a it's, clutch move. It's a, yeah. no, it's a, it is it's a vet, definitely right. a clutch right. move. Right. There's no question about it. But when you have that type of power, as you know, right. Lil Wayne, not only do they got the yeah. power, they got the players, <laughs> which means they got the assets. Right. And when you got the assets that I so coveted and I need, just think about it. When LeBron retires two, three years from now, and there is a Garland or there's a Maxi that's available to you in Anthony yes. Davis, but you didn't yes. want to draft Bronny, I can't do you any favors. My clients may look to go somewhere else. So you got to play the game. That's the NBA. Mm. You have to play the game. Mm. So Wayne, like I said, as soon yeah. as I heard it, I said yeah. he'll be in a, he will be in a, a Lakers uniform. Bingo. Yes, so Wayne, can you right now, heart of hearts, are you seeing the Lakers reaching the finals? And if so, against which team from the East? I got the Lakers reaching it against the Pacers. Uh, I'm sorry, who, who, the, Pacers. the Pacers. The Pacers, really? Pacers. So we got a rematch Pacers, of the. Yeah. In season Play tournament in, right, finals, right, really? Right. The tournament. I, wow. I love that. I think the Pacers gonna do their thing. Whew. See, even though Watch out. even though I'm a diehard Laker, it's too early for me to call it. I'ma just say right now I feel like the clips is gonna slide really? in there. And even though and <laughs> even though and even though Doc is three and seven since taking over in Milwaukee, Milwaukee. for some reason, when they get to the playoffs. I think the light gonna turn on, and that record that under 500 that he was working with yeah. will be a little bit different with Milwaukee. I think, he, as of right now, Clippers Milwaukee. As of right now, all right, right now. You want to chime? You will go Clippers Milwaukee, right now. As of right I now, think Clippers look good, man. As of right now, Clippers, I gotta give it to yeah. him. Clippers look good. Hey, you know, and and of course, my guy, my guy Joe, uh, over over. It. Fresh West in New York, mm. and it's like I would love to see New York get anyway in it, but they don't have a chance. Not a chance. I don't think they have a chance. Either. I don't. I don't know Milwaukee. <laughs> well, it's good enough. Huh. I don't know Milwaukee's no, they good enough. They what just got to make some changes, and they'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Up next, we're going to get Lil Wayne's deepest feelings on what it would mean to him to play the halftime show of the Super Bowl next year in his hometown of New Orleans. Ooh, yeah, be, oh, I'll be right there, man. Mm -hmm. I'll back down, back down, back down, back down.